Okay, so the patch notes released a few minutes ago, right? This is my second time recording the patch notes uh, because I want to do it in a, you know, in a different order just to make it not as long uh, because this patch note is really, really packed. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cover the main update and then I'll cover the guild, um, the guild, the new guild mode, right? Because the new guild mode, um, they're actually covering it in a very, very detailed manner, so it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to talk about the update in general, and then at the end of the video, I will cover the guild uh, in details for, for people that don't really care about it that much. So the first thing that's going to be happening is the recruitment system uh, improvements. This uh, They already talked about it, but they didn't really mention any details, but they do mention the details in, the, uh, in, this, uh, in this patch note. So the three-star hero recruitment chains are going to be adjusted. The drop rate up target is going to be going from 0.8% to 1.25%, which is actually quite a jump. Um, it's more than 50% increase, right? Which is really good. And then all three-star heroes are going to be increased from 2% to 2.5%. So basically, when you get a three-star, now you have a 50% chance for it to be the new future unit, right? Which is really, really good odds. And I already thought these rates were already good, like compared to more recent gotchas, right? Compared to more recent gotchas, these rates are really, really free-to-play friendly, but uh, for some reason people were disagreeing and saying these rates are awful. Some people, the minority, were saying so. So these changes are really, really, really generous. Uh, and yeah, if, if you get a 3-star, now you have a, uh, this is basically a coin flip, whether it's the new unit or not. Uh, and if you get like two 3-stars and none of them are the new unit, then you kind of got really unlucky. Uh, but yeah, good changes overall. Now the mileage carryover improvements, mileage will now carry over to the next drop rate up recruitment when a drop rate up uh, recruitment ends. Uh, so for new people uh, that didn't really play before Global, you haven't really experienced it, but uh, after every single banner, we basically lost all of our mileage and it, uh, it was converted to Star's Memory, which we can use on the shop. Uh, if you go to the shop, the, the thing uh, to the... Um, the very right, like uh, you see, like the arena uh, shop, the um, friendship shop, and then to the most right, you can see the stars memory, which all global players are gonna have zero off right now because um, there is no banner that happened before rent's banner, so that's why. So, this is not gonna really affect global players uh, at all. Uh, remaining mileage will no longer be converted into stars memory. Um, as I said, this is not gonna be affecting global players because. You're not going to have any stars memory. The stars memory shop will be tem uh, will temporarily remain available in the shop. So basically, for a soft launch player, you want to use all your stars memory uh, before the shop gets uh, deleted, which it will because they're saying that it will temporarily remain available. They'll probably mention when it will leave, so they will give you like um, basically a warning so you can use up your uh, last bit of stars memory f uh, before the shop ends, basically. Mileage carryover will begin with the currently ongoing run in Valentine. We already knew that. So basically, if you have any current mileage, you know, it will carry over to um, the next unit, which is going to be... I actually forgot her name already. That's crazy. Uh, anyways, this is going to be the new content, the Guild Rays. I will talk about it at the end of the video because it's... As, as you can see, it's quite long. It is quite long. Right. Uh, new gear enhancement system, gems. Okay, so they are finally introducing the gems. Now, I haven't really read any of this yet, so this is going to be new for me as well. Uh, a new feature will be introduced that allows gems to be inserted into slots in exclusive equipment and talisman. Enhance your hero's power by inserting gems into their gear. Now, we already know the gems exist uh, in the game, but they haven't been implemented yet, right? So, now they're being implemented. Gem details. Gems are items that can boost your hero's stats when applied to special gear. Each gem comes with one stat option. Okay. Wait. Okay, attack percentage. Grade 1, Grade 2, Grade 3, Grade 4, Grade 5, Grade 6. You you obviously are going to want the Grade 6. Increases the attack of the wearer. I'm assuming increases it by 4%. Increases defense by 4%. Health by 3%. Crit damage by 3%. Crit chance by 2%. Accuracy. Okay, it's basically just extra stats. And you're going to have 4. Uh, I think you're going to have 4. Actually, let me go to... I think you can see it, right? I think, yeah, you can see it. We'll go to inventory. we we'll go to any talisman. You're gonna have four. So, you're gonna have four on your talisman and then four on your special equipment. This is actually giving me a reason to work on my Noah's exclusive equipment just for the gems. Which is funny enough because on my soft launch I already have uh, Noah at trench up level 9. So, this is, this is not gonna be a complete waste. Uh, so, theoretically, you can get 16% extra attack for Noah. Uh, or even 12% extra crit damage or... Actually, no, it's going to be 4, so it's going to be 16 plus 6, so it's going to be 32% extra attack. 
That's actually huge. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, so these are the gems. Pretty simple, just increasing stats. Acquire gems. You can acquire gems by participating on gold raids or dismantling talisman. Finally, you can now dismantle talisman and acquire gems according to their grade. You'll be able to acquire gems as following, depending on the grade of the talisman. Two grade. Wait, this is awful, no? Six star talisman give you two grade three. Oh, this is... Wait, you can insert up to four gems? Yeah, you, you may insert multiple gems with the same effect. You can remove inserted gems by spending gold. Oh, you have to spend gold to remove. Okay, this is not good. This is not very good. Um, you can insert up to four, as we thought. So, wait, so... How do you get... Oh, well, you can combine two gems of the same grade to obtain a gem of high. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, this makes this more worth it now. Okay. You will receive a gem uh, of the next highest grade with a random option. Combining gems will require gold. So two gems of the same grade to obtain a gem of a high grade. So two three-star gems are going to give you four grade four. Two grade four is going to give you grade five. Two grade five is going to give you grade six. Is what I'm assuming is going to happen. Bulk combining gems. You will be able to combine all own gems at once to, to obtain a gem of a grade you desire. You will have the option to choose your desired grade. You will have the ability to review gems uh, re required, then combine them all at once. Okay? I'm assuming it's going to be more complicated than what I just mentioned, so... Um, we'll see how it will work, unless they mention it here. Yeah, they don't really mention it, so this is going to be the new content research support cent uh, center. Go to transfer the option. Okay. We'll see how it works exactly tomorrow. It's, it's only going to be like one day. Uh, research support center. The research support uh, center will allow you to exchange the research point you have earned from clearing stages in adventure for various items. Exchange your research points for items that will help you in various areas of content. Research points. Nice. Uh, clear hard mode, adventure season 3, stage 3, you'll not be able to acquire research points before gaining access to the resource support center. How to use? Acquire your research points by clearing stages in hard mode adventure that have a limit on maximum daily entries. In, by clearing stages, oh, you, so you basically, they're giving you incentives to farm story stages. In exchange, they acquired research points for different gear consumables. We already have a shortage of stamina in the game, so just giving the like, incentivizing players to farm story, I don't think that's the best move. Uh, can I zoom in, please? Okay. 300. I guess it's like guaranteed legendary, but there has to be guaranteed six star legendary. There has to be because it's five. If it's five star, then it's pointless. It's completely pointless. List of available items and prices. Yeah, there is no six star. This is pointless. No one is going to buy this. No one is going to buy this. Let's see the consumables. Master's Hammer. Superior qu uh, quality present. Oh, this is this is good. The present chest is good. Clear ticket. Purchase limit. A quantity is going to be th um, 10. 30% epic abrasive. Uh, glue Knight. Who, what the fuck is Procedo? Steak dish. Okay. Well, these are going to be mostly pointless. There's nothing here that is... Reforge Catalyst. Epic Reforge Catalyst times 15. Am I, why am I not recognizing these names? Epic Reforge. So if I go to Reforge... I can't really Reforge this. Let me go here. Uh, Reforge. Catalyst. Okay. Well, now I know what a Reforge Catalyst is. Okay. Support Center Exchange Gear Stats. Nice. Okay, well, this is going to be pointless, unfortunately. Uh, new Event Dungeon, the Reaper and the Gangster. I guess this might be helpful. If you get enough uh, points early on, this might be helpful if you're trying to progress through story to begin with. But later, in the end game, this is pointless. Uh, new Event Dungeon, the Reaper and the Gangster. This is going to be an Event Dungeon, so it's going to be limited. Um, a new Event Dungeon feature will be added. The Reaper and the Gangster will be included as a part of the first update. Experience the captivating story of Valentine, the Gangster from Earth and Eternal. The timid necromancer in this exciting adventure. Cool. Uh, unlock condition, clear adventure season 1, stage 2. Schedule. After maintenance, it's going to be lasting for 2 weeks, approximately. And then the event shop is going to be lasting for 20 days. Okay. After the, uh, after the event period ends, only the event shop will remain accessible. Right. 
How do you how do you use to access event dungeon or the reaper in the beginning? Sir, tap on the event story banner in the lobby or navigate to the event list under the future event banner. You can acquire various rewards by completing missions from the event area. You can acquire special event currency on your initial and repeated clears of dungeons and um, in the event area during the event period. You can enter ranked challenge once per day. Ranked challenge? What? Okay. There you can acquire rewards relative to the rank you've acquired based on the damage dealt. Oh, this is going to be a ranked damage event. Okay. Hard mode will be made available once all of the normal uh, difficulty event dungeon has successfully been cleared. You can enter the hard mode dungeon up to 10 times per day to earn event currency. Alright, okay. So this is going to be a ranking to this as well. Uh, check-in events. The check-in events will... Uh, rewards will be available during the event period. Special recruitment, um, counterfeit money, special recruitment again, counterfeit money again, gold, refined glue tonight, and more money. Okay. 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 This is this is all good. I guess you can use the counterfeit money to acquire from playing through the Reaper and the gang uh, and the gangster to acquire various items. This is gonna be uh, this is what you're gonna be using the money for. You can access the shop during the two weeks of event and uh, during the following week. Uh, for a total of three weeks. What can you buy here? You can buy casino, you can buy profile frame, you can buy a lobby mascot. What a what the fuck is a lobby mascot? Those Rose family heirloom? I have no idea. You can buy Valentine shards or Valentine pieces and eternal pieces. Even if I don't, I don't think you need to have them, right? Wait, did they mention this? Well, that's nice, I guess. I mean, depending on how many you can buy, right? I don't think they're gonna give you enough to get the character. That would be stupid, right? But still nice to have, I guess. Event bonus hero. Clearing the event dungeon with its main character heroes will grant a bonus counterfeit money, which I, I'm, I'm assuming Valentine and Eternal. Yeah, and Rico. Okay. Cool. Does not apply to the initial clear rewards and stage uh, cleared. So I'm basically going to be using both of them on the same team to clear the event. Uh, event rewards. You'll be able to acquire a large amount of dungeon clear rewards and mission rewards, including normal special recruitment tickets and ether. C exclusive background music for the Reaper and the Gangster has have been added and will be added to the select uh, to be selected in the lobby settings. You'll be able to purchase the following items by spending event currency in the card shop. You can access the event shop. But either you're visiting the event page or going to lobby. Okay. You can buy uh, 16 pieces of Eternal and 8 pieces of Valentine. One off. Okay, the one off lobby casino. This is going to be the music, I'm assuming. Profile frame, profile frame. Lobby mascot, necromancer. This is a legendary weapon. I'm not going to buy this. Uh, so, this is a family heirloom. Breakthrough material. Wait, is this a legendary breakthrough material? Wait, if this is a legendary breakthrough material, this is insane. You can get four of it. Wait. I think it is. It's like a legendary glue, uh, glue knight, right? Or is it glue knight? I don't think I have any glue knight to actually know what it, oh, I do have. It is glue knight. If you can get four legendary glue knight, that's fucking busted. That's going to be the most probably important thing of this event. Pieces of Eternal, which is nice. Pieces of Valentine, you can buy... 1 million gold, 5 gluonite, you can buy 1 refined gluonite, which is the legendary one. Wait, then this, then this is not going to be gluonite, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be specifically refi uh, breakthrough material for this sword, is what I'm assuming. And then the uh, refined gluonite is going to be just 1, which is fine, still fine. Stats, select, abrasives. Oh, this is also really good. Great three gem chest. Which is, you know, the new gems. And then stick dish. Okay, that's fine. Total event mission rewards. That's a lot of ether. Holy shit. A lot of gold, clear tickets, expert hammer, glue knight, special recruitment. Basic skill manual. There's the books, intermediate skill manual. We need a lot more books, but these are fine. Uh, professional skill manual, which is one. Legendary reforged catalyst. It's fine. Cake slice. Alright, so this is good. Uh, the new hero rate up is going to be eternal. I'm not going to be reading all of this. You can see the event uh, period is going to be lasting for two weeks. Uh, oh, this is the skills. Okay, actually, this is what I was waiting for. Okay, skill one. Attacks. This is, is this the burst? Where's the burst? 
Where is the skill burst? Skill bursts. Okay, let's just read it. Attacks two enemies and has a 65% chance to reduce the target's defense for two turns. Attacks two enemies. Alright. Uh, more damage. Increase the activating chest. Okay, this is good. More damage. More damage. And so it's going to, at max level is going to be 85%, which is fine, right? Which is, which is really good. I'm assuming she's going to be really good for farming bosses because she's going to be just constantly doing defense reduction. Attacks to enemies has an 80... Uh, this is killed too. Attacks to enemies has a 85% chance to inf inflict reduced defense and reduced speed on all enemies for two turns. Okay. So she attacks two enemies and then has an 85% chance to inflict reduced defense and reduced speed on all enemies. This is really fucking good. Additionally, has an 85% chance to inflict unhealable on earth targets for two turns. Wait, okay. I mean, I guess, right? I guess. So it's gonna have a four turn cooldown. Level two is going to be more damage. Level three is going to reduce the turn by one. Uh, and then she's gonna increase the duration. So it's gonna be three turn cooldown and a three turn debuff. That increases the activation chance by 15. So it's gonna be 100%, basically. Which is really good. Uh, okay, the skill two is gonna be the skill burst. It changes to single target, greatly increases damage, increases effectiveness. Uh, plus for two turns, I'm assuming increases increases effectiveness for two turns. Is what I'm assuming the skill burst one does. Uh, skill two increases damage. Skill three steals buffs. That's good. That's, I guess that's unique, right? I think no, yeah, no one has this uh, unless there is like a unit that I didn't really read into that has the steal buff. So she's going to be doing single target, right? Uh, she's still going to be debuff uh, she's still going to be debuffing all the enemies so just that the damage is going to be really high on a single target unit this is really good okay let's see the uh, her ultimate right attacks to enemies has an 85 percent chance to remove one buff from the target if the target is earth element inflicts reduced evasion for two turns. oh this is ass what okay let's see let's see what uh, max level it does Damage plus 10, reduces weakness, guards plus 1, this is more damage, increases the chance of activating. Um, okay, reduce cooldown by 1, damage. Oh, this is hot ass. Right, unless this has insane multipliers, but they don't really mention the multipliers, so we'll never know. This is some hot ass. Like, sh what? This is... This is like the best skill she has, and this is this one is really good as well, the skill... The problem is you can't really set auto to only do skill two and one. So if you if you make if you do skill two, they're always going to be doing skill three as well. I think, unless there is a way that I'm not aware of. Okay, this is really bad. Skill chain starter uh, starter effects. Oh, she's a skill chain starter. That's really good. After attacking, grants find weakness to all allies for two turns. What the fuck is find weakness? Wait, what, what is find weakness? I feel like someone has find weakness, but who? Find weakness. Who has find weakness? Let me actually, let me quickly look up what find weakness is. Well, I wasn't able to find what find weakness is, but I'm, I feel like I've seen, I've read it somewhere, but I'm assuming it's a new debuff. Uh, dual attack, after attacking has an 85% to reduce the target's defense for two turns, which is really good. Uh, and then the transcendence is going to ally team effectiveness, ally, okay, more effectiveness, and you know just unlocking the skill burst. This is going to be automatic because she's a, she's a three star. Okay, that's uh, that's good. A new side story is going to be eternal side story, and uh, will be available in the side. Okay, Veronica, drop it up. I already knew about this. I already I already read the patch notes, and I already expected it because Veronica and Valentine are like basically the two. Uh, right now, the two, I think, like, two of the best units in the game. Veronica, I, don't, I wouldn't say she's the second best unit in the game, but uh, she's really, really, really good. And they're basically the faces of the game, right? If you go to the packs, like, they have, they literally have their faces on it. Um, so this was to be expected, right? If you go to the, yeah, it's like Veronica and Valentine. So it was, it was to be expected, uh, I guess. Well, I expected it at least. Uh, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been, you know, impossible if she wasn't the new drop rate, but, you know, it would have been the, she was the most likely uh, possibility, is what I'm trying to say. So, a new event, side story hero pieces event, an event to gr grant double the amount of hero pieces when clearing a side story will begin. Um, 
for two weeks. Okay, so we're getting uh, good events like double drop rate events. That's really nice. New er a new area clear event. A new event will be added where you can earn rewards by clearing specific areas. You'll be able to find this event in the event list. This event will be available alongside the existing area clear events. Area, Adventure Area 10, Dresham Hard Mode Area 5, and okay. Three Star Hero, 100 pieces? What? You're getting 100 pieces of a three star hero? This is fucking insane. 10 special recruitment tickets and a. F These three words are fucking stupid. This is insane. The price of arena tickets will now be reduced to 50 ether. This is arena improvements. The degree of tier downgrade uh, following arena season finalization will be reduced. Okay, so if you're top one, you get downgraded to master three. Now you're getting downgraded to master one. That's good. Top two, top 100. Oh, top 100 gets downgraded to master one. Wait, am I top 100? No. Uh, right, not right now. I haven't done PvP right now, but if I'm top 100, I'm getting... Wait, this is a cheat code, no? I don't know. Well, I guess you have... Okay, I guess maybe they're talking about... Let me go to Arena. Let me explain it in better terms. I'm assuming they're talking about... Um, reward. Yep. Yeah. If you have this, right? This thing on. So this requires you to already be Master 1 to get this thing. So I'm assuming this is what they mean. So you can be Diamond 3 and Diamond... Uh, and Top 1... Uh, top 100 and, you know, get promoted to Master 1. I don't think that'll happen. So Master 1 gets demoted to Diamond 3. Okay, you're basically getting sit back. Actually, yeah... No, okay, so Master 2, Diamond 1, okay. I guess yeah, these, ch these changes are nice, I guess. You can read it, you can look it up if you want. So, they just make it easier to climb uh, Arena. That's what they're doing. Other improvements, battle, the effects of the priority meter in the bottom left corner of the battle screen will be improved. Visual effects indicating the increased decrease of prior uh, priority gauge will be added. Icons of heroes and monsters will be magnified and slide in the direction perspective to the change of the priority gauge. Um, the icons of units who are attacked will shake and blink red. Okay, clarification of Noah's ultimate skill de description. No changes have been made in terms of functionality. Before, increases crit rate for two turns and attacks all enemies consumes all kaiser okay i know the the old one uh attacks all enemies increases the caster's critical hit chance for increases i guess they're just specifying that increases that increases noah's crit hit chance not the team right okay uh, a burst level setting function will be added in the auto battle settings each hero will save AP until they are able to activate the specific burst level while auto battling. If a hero's transcendence level is insufficient to use certain burst level, that burst level will be displayed as unavailable. Alright, uh, the auto battling setting will be reset following this update. Okay, I guess that's good. Content. When dealing overkill damage to a boss in Guild Dungeon, excess damage will no longer be lost when moving to the next stage. Example, current boss HP, damage deal, damage loss. Uh huh. I didn't even know that happened, actually. Okay, so you, the excess damage is not going to be lost. That's good. Heroes. Transcendence effects uh, effect descriptions have been revised. Currently, the description of the 6-star uh, transcendence effect displays the sum of the values of 4-star and 6-star effects. To this, uh, As this may be a cause of confusion, the new descriptions will display the increase in values particular to each stage. Uh... Oh, wait, I actually, I didn't even know that, right? I thought it was... Wait, this even confused me, because I thought it like the total would be 9%, but the total is actually 6%. Okay, that's good. That, that's good. Uh, Transcend packs will be added to the shop. Purchase condition... Okay, you're going to be able to buy uh, transcendent, uh, transcendent packs if you have the uh, three-star hero, which is fine. You need to make money. This is not a predatory at all. This is completely fine. They're either going to be summoning for the units, or they're going to be, uh, they're going to be buying the packs anyways. So this is fine, okay. Uh, base supply module item list adjustment to increase the usability of antimatter after upgrading the base, uh, old base facilities. Items that can be purchased using antimatter will be added to slots 5 to 7 in base supply model. This is good. <laughs> I have like, wait, how many? I can't, this is not my main, so I can't really show how many antimatter, how much antimatter I have. But I have way too much. 
We made to Proxon. Okay, models, Valentine's side story, asset adjustments, hero visual effects, changes to conditions for kicking gold members, gear rewards for uh, guide quest stage will be changed. Reward for uh, quest. Okay. All right. Error fixes. You can read up on the error fixes if you want. Uh, there is not any major uh, errors that I want to be fixed. So I'm not going to be reading into that. The video is already way too long. Uh, let me get to the guild. Let me get to the guild uh, portion of the video. And I'll try to explain it very quickly. So there is going to be a new guild mode uh, that is going to have um, any, any guild member can participate basically. Uh, it's going to follow a four-week cycle. You're only going to be able to play during the first two weeks of it, and there's going to be one week to process the results and a one-week break. That's basically the TLDR. Um, the guild board in the guild uh, base to access the guild raid, so you're obviously going to be going to the guild board to, you know, access the this game mode. Upon entering the guild base for the first time, uh, while, the guild, while the guild raid is active, a brief tutorial will commence. That's good for new players. And, um, okay, I'm going to try to explain it in my own terms. So these are going to be two Geese Guardians, and this is going to be the main boss, right? You can challenge either the main boss or the Geese Guardians. If you challenge the Geese Guardians, it is going to give you buffs for the main boss. It's going to give you uh, items that will help you in one way with the main boss. And the main goal is for the entire guild to kill the main boss. And you can only use, so if you use uh, four units on the Geese Guardian, if you use like Noah on the Geese Guardian, you're not going to be able to use her uh, on the Tyrant Toddler, right? If you use her on Chimera, you're, gonna, you're not going to be using her on Tyrant Toddler. Uh, and you, hold, you have three tickets, so you're going to be using one ticket each. Uh, in most cases, I don't know if you can do the same fight twice, I, I don't, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, but you basically need a total of 12 units if you want to maximize your points. Um, if that is needed anyways but we will see we'll see what the meta is going to be when the game mode drops uh but yeah this is the tldr of the game mode you're going to be fighting these two bosses and then you're going to be fighting the main boss and i think the damage is going to accumulate uh with the entire guild it's not just going to be you trying to kill maxwell it's going to be the entire guild and there's going to be a ranking um ranking leaderboard for this as well how much health does he have one two three four five six no it's five it's two hundred thousand that's nothing. 200,000 is nothing. Um, geese, you can use the geese obtained from defeating the geese guardians. You're going to be obtaining ge uh, geese from the geese guardians in the fight against the main boss. So you can just use it to, uh, you know, get more help during the um, the geese, <laughs> the main boss of the uh, of the game mode. Heroes who have participated in the battle will become unable, just like I said. The overall strength of the geese guardians appearing in this gold raid will have been just a check into account. That's uh, okay. Uh, we'll receive particip. Okay, so you will receive uh, participation rewards regardless whether the boss has been defeated or not. So that's really good as well. All guild members will receive rewards when defeating the Geese Guardian. So everyone's going to receive, I think, the same rewards. I think, unless their participation rewards are different based on the damage. Uh, geese will provide an advantageous or disadvantageous effects depending on their type. The geese that will uh, used will have an effect on the final points multiplier. Uh, the battle may continue even when the final points multiplier has fallen below zero, uh, negative 100%. I'm not sure how it will, that will happen. However, in such a case, the resulting final points will be 0%. Geese settings. All geese will be reset as the start of the next gold grade. Geese of the same stage can be selected at the same time as well. I'm really confused on this. Uh, part in particular but i guess you know it's we're only going to be waiting one day for you know to understand everything guilds will be ranked based on points acquired during the guild raid boss and the rewards will be dist uh, distributed accordingly guild hall of fame will be added to the base and a guild buff will be available every day according to the, your guild uh raid rank the buff will last for 24 hours and will be reset at daily reset the leader heroes of the top three players with the guild will be found standing in the buff room the buffs will vary based on your guild rank this is really nice. It's just, you know, uh, if you're trying to flex on your homies, right? I like I like uh, things like this, right? Flexing. Um, just giving you the uh, the opportunity to flex on your, you know, your guild mates. And they're not going to give you anything more, I don't think. It's just going to be uh, bragging rights, basically. Guild rank. Top, top one. So the top guild is going to... Guild buff level is going to be 10. Increases the HP of all heroes in battle by 15%. 
Increases gold by 15% increases obtained hero experience. Is this going to apply everywhere? Because this is going to give a, like a stupid advantage. It's going to be stupid. Top 2, top 3 are going to give the same buffs. Top 10 are going to give the same buffs. Top you know, 20 are going to get the same buffs. 20 to 100 are going to get the same buffs. I guess most guilds, like, how many guilds are there? I don't think there's more than a thousand guilds, so I guess most guilds are going to be getting these buffs. Guild buffs will be applied as shown below. Okay, increase health and PvE content excluding guild raid and the Arch Demon's runes. Okay, PvE content, so no PvP. That's good, that's really good. Increases obtain gold uh, upon clearing adventure, side story, bounty hunter, and floors with gold rewards. Okay, that it's good that I didn't do my guild... Um, tower yet so that's good uh increases obtained hero experience upon that's okay guild raid rewards you can acquire daily participation rewards uh geese guardian defeat reward uh guild word um guild point reward and guild ranking reward from the guild raid reward number of attempts grade one gem expert hammer uh superior reforged catalysts so uh, you're getting to gear um grade two gems grade three gems and epic reforged this is just participation, I'm assuming, just by just by participating. And there's chances as well, it's not guaranteed. Uh, guild point rewards. Guild point stage. You get to grade uh, point 10, I guess you get a grade 3 gem. Three grade 3 gems. Do these accumulate? Do you get all of them? Because that would that, be crazy, no? I think that would be crazy. And you get 1000 guild medals, okay. Uh, Geese Guardian defeat, uh, defeat rewards, Geese Guardian stage, stage 5. I'm assuming they're going to be uh, accumulating because these are stages, not... Uh, I'm assuming, again, I'm really lost on um, the entire game mode. I, th I have a general idea, I just don't know the specifics of how it is going to work. Uh, I guess we'll know that once it drops. Guild rank rewards... Uh, clear reward 1... Wait, okay, guild rank reward top one, clear reward one is going to be guild coins, going to be 2,000 gold coins, then clear reward two, I'm not sure what this means, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Guild raid update event, the participation rewards for guild raid will be doubled for all, participa uh, for, for all participants. Okay, there's going to be an event, so double the rewards, that's, that's nice. Uh, the video is 32 minutes long and I've been talking for way too long uh, and my brain is fried so uh, I'm gonna post the patch notes for you guys to read if you want to read it for yourself if you want to have a better understanding by reading everything in more uh, in a more focused manner I guess and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one